Hi this is Lucy and today I'm going to show you how to build this mid-century modern house. For this build you will need a flamer trap and catwalks and if you like these windows you will need the new mine building set. If this is something that you're interested in please stay tuned. So I'm going to start with a quick tour. As you can see I've used this new mining set to um, sandwich glass between these double walls. I must admit I think when everyone saw this set they thought oh look I can build a mine and I thought I wonder if you can sandwich some glass between them. <laughs> They'll make great windows. <laughs> so. I'll show you where we are on the map. I have built here before. We are down by Newgard between Overlook Cabin and Summersville. Vault 76 is up here. So on the outside I have, if you saw my last video, used these elm trees, the barren empty dead elm tree, to suppress all the weeds in the area and I have hidden them by using smaller green elm trees so that they don't look so horrible. <laughs> we have a basic workshop outside. If you're wondering where this wallpaper comes from this was a game pass drop. It was a game pass perk. Um, it may be available whoops tree it may be available on other systems I don't know but you could just use the cream this house is I suppose technically is still a tiny house it's built on three by three nine foundations we have this little lobby area which comes through to the main living area I've tried to keep to the mid-century modern kind of style. If you're not aware, mid-century modern was um, an architectural and design style that was popular in the United States in the 1950s and 60s. It was heavily, heavily influenced by Scandinavian design and the Bauhaus movement. And it fostered clean lines, um, embracing nature, so lots of wood and natural fibres, plants um, and it's actually um, had quite a lot of resurgence in the last few years for those of us who like to, um, well I can't afford it, but <laughs> those of us who like to uh, you know have a kind of green style living I guess. So there is a set in the game which has this table, yes it's a table, although you can't put a lot of things on it. If the base is too big it will not go on. Um, the chest of drawers, a bedside table, um, a dresser and a coffee table. And I have implemented this set because this colour teak wood was very popular. I've made this entertainment centre. I have again utilised the conduit trick to get my table and chairs under the stairs. I have tried to hide it with a plant pot on. I have also created a kitchen using these um, dressers and I have merged some of the little bedside tables into it to look like kitchen drawers. It was a giant pain. <laughs> I can't even tell you how many times I did this to line them up perfectly. I'm actually tempted to see if I can blueprint the entire thing. There is a little bit of glitching, there are some gaps. I mean it involved flamer trapping, merging, all sorts, especially as I also got my cooking station in there. But I'm actually pleased with it, it came out well. I have a 50 star refrigerator and obviously my ducks on the wall. So I really like this space. Um, I did ponder putting the space heater down there but because there's so much going on 
um, I decided to put it here instead. I mean, it is a space heater, so... Right, upstairs. I hate these railings, but I needed something because it was such a large area, and um, I didn't think a conduit railing would go in this in this build. It is very spacious. I'm still annoyed about the floors because I have this offset ladder. I've had to use half floors, and half floors do not have floor wallpaper. So I would much rather have used the light wood that was downstairs, but if you do that, these half pieces on either end will have to stay this colour, and I just couldn't bear it. <laughs> so, so this is a bedroom, there is a desk. It's fairly simple, you know what, I'm not great. I do have the odd moment with bedrooms, but it's fairly basic. I'm not 100% happy with the artwork on these walls, but... It was the only thing I could find that actually went with the colour and space in this room, so, yeah. Um, we do have a few modern art pieces, but nowhere near as many as Fallout 4, and they really did not go with this colour scheme. We have an outdoor balcony off the bedroom here. I merged my bird down into that plant because I just couldn't fit him in. So, lots of plants, another outdoor seating area. This is actually the bandstand from the Christmas house, little house set. I don't know what it was called. I will quickly show you on the roof, I have this thing. You could block it in and put some generators in there. I just wanted... I hate completely flat roofs. I just wanted to add an extra bit of dimension so it's a kind of design element. Obviously in here we have a bathroom. I used the shower. You can see the generator sticking out of here. It's because I needed to put a generator and a sink in this unit and it was complicated. I had to merge the sink into the generator so only, only go so far attach the conduit for the generator underneath the sink, power it up, and then merge the whole lot into the um, um, chest of drawers, which, yep, I was determined to do it, and I did it. <laughs> so there. I do love these windows. They are fabulous. Um, yes. Sure, that's not what they intended the use for, but, you know... It just re works really well in this build. So, that is it. Now I will show you how I built it. So, dawn is breaking over the wasteland and, yep, I got up especially early for you guys. So, we're going to start with some foundations. And I'm going to try and line them up with the line in the road. I'm going to go two back. And I'm going to build a grid of three by three. If you need to use confetti, by all means use it. Um, these foundations might be a little bit low. This is, a, although it looks flat, this area is a little bit deceptive. <laughs> For the workshop area, you will need to get one lined up with the back there, and then. But I mean, you can do the workshop however you want. So you should have something that looks like this. Now we are going to start with some walls. I'm going to put double wall in there. That is the front door. That is the door to the lobby. We will be leaving those 
I'll show you why in a sec. Now, to get the rest on, we will need another foundation. The rest of these gaps we will fill with half walls. Now I know this works with the barn set. If you want to try it with a different set feel free but I'm not taking responsibility if it all goes horribly wrong. <laughs> right so those are half, whoops, don't need that one. Right, I think everything's double walled. Right, we're going to put the upper floor on. Now we need to attach a ladder to this catwalk, which won't go in because of this foundation, and that won't come up. Go down. Oh. One step forward, six steps back. Just feels like it sometimes. Right. Put those back in. Right. Take the catwalk off. Add upper floors. Now, be aware that... Because this ladder is illegal, that if you put a floor in in the wrong place, you will not be able to get it off. You'll have to put another legal ladder down and take everything off in reverse order. Don't forget for this build that the upper floor goes over the porch. We need to get a pillar in here. You can do it with the blueprint if it's going to be kind to me today. It's being very tricky. Somewhere around there. <laughs> the wrong way around oh actually that's not part of the building we can also put the half walls on for the workshop area like so we will double wall there like so we need to double wall this one you might not get a wall underneath to double wall this so I would suggest you use the door method here put a door in convert the doorway to a plain wall remove the wall because doors have two snapping points you can put a wall on the wrong way round if it will behave today <laughs> Come on. I've been having a few problems this morning. Right, there we go. Double wall. Double wall for the bathroom. Bathroom door. Bathroom wall. Right, we are temporarily going to put a double wall in here. It's so that we can easily get the wing on above. 
but it will be replaced with glass wall later. Half walls, two half walls in the bathroom because we're going to put a round window in the top and two half walls because these make up the V. Same at the front. And then we're going to be putting double half walls around here for the balcony. Right, I am going to, we may as well put the glass door in there now, like so. We can put the roofs on. I use the Enclave roofs. Like so. And we are going to put this wing on. We're going to have to flame a trap all of these half walls. As we're up here, we may as well put the roof on. Now, because these... Oh, they are facing the right way. We can just put the roof on like so. Double check. You've got all your half walls in. We will be putting a round window in here, which is why these two are half walls. Right, flame a trap. You need to flame a trap all of these half walls. So I'm going to get busy with that. To do the doubles, just the easiest thing I find is to just put your flame a trap on a regular stash box. And don't forget to about every six walls, every four to six walls, store your flamer trap so that it doesn't break. Right, now I've done all the doubles. Just going to get my flamer trap out and do all the singles which is the balcony and the fin on the roof and also the workshop area Make sure that everything that needs to be flame trapped is flame trapped. Obviously, you can do it again afterwards, but it's a pain. And then take all your half walls and obviously, where it's on the ground like this, you will need a foundation the other side. And just make sure that it's all double walled. Don't forget the fin. Yes, Lucy has everything. That foundation. Lucy has everything in her recents because this is the second time Lucy has built this today. It all went wrong. It's supposed to be an easy build and everything went wrong. I mean, I did actually build the entire house, but I figured you wouldn't want to watch a video with me pretty much crying. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Right, I think that is all of those. 
For these V windows, what we're going to do is over these broken double halves, we are going to put a regular double wall. If you watched my sushi bar, this is done in exactly the same way. And above. Do the bottom ones first because a double wall will go on top of another double wall. some reason, I'm going to jinx it now, aren't I? I'm going to jinx it. I had a real problem getting these on the first time. Now, I'm going to give you fair warning. Be aware, up here, do not put another floor. Because there's no double wall underneath, you can add a double wall underneath. You might have a problem here because of the pillar. You could probably flame trap the pillar. Do not put another floor because you will not get it off. Oh, come on, you pain in the ass. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to use the door method. If the stupid thing will work. There is no reason this wall will not go off. I'm going to take the glass door off temporarily. No, hang on. I take stuff off, it makes no difference. I do. There we go. Right. We're going to use the door method. It's the safest thing. I ran out of budget. The reason I run out of budget on these builds quite often, even when I have budget to start, is because I convert all the walls. So it stores all the converted walls, but then I'm replacing, rebuilding with barn walls. So it uses up all my budget. Right. Bathroom. Looks like all the walls are on. Before you repair all, as you can see, I may have may have messed that up. Put your wallpaper on. Only on these windows with the with the half walls embedded in them. You can leave the rest till the end. Wood down here. Don't forget to do both sides, especially the inside, because it is very difficult whoops, to select the inner full wall. Well, when I say difficult, pretty much impossible, I've found. So make sure before you repair all that these eight walls have wallpaper on. Right. Right, now what you're going to do now is we are, you're going to, or we are going to, or I am going to, <laughs> convert these barn walls, the half walls in the middle, to glass. Whichever glass set you like. I happen to like the original one for this, but 
you know, mix it up and depends what you've got. If you haven't got glass, well, you probably can't do it. I mean, you could use them without anything in with large air holes and just pretend it's glass, which is what we used to do before we had glass walls. So it should look like this. Then what you're going to do is convert the doorway to the mindset. Now I have noticed with these that although you can put wallpaper on the doorways, you can't actually put wallpaper on these pieces, but the wallpaper will stay if you um, put it on another piece and convert it. That makes sense. So there you have your V. It would be nice if there was an inverted one. You could have a diamond, but um, it doesn't work like that. But, I mean, the opposite direction is attractive as well if you want more privacy kind of gives you um, an upside down diamond with the wall but not with the glass <laughs> I know what I mean so there we have our V windows Go around and convert all of the doorways to flat walls. Apart from the doorways that you actually want to use as doors, obviously. We can take this double wall off underneath, oops, underneath the wing. We can put glass walls and doorway in here like so with the lobby area I am going to put a round window in there I use the mistress oh actually I think it's the haunted house set there is a round window with the um, the new contemporary set but it has that trim around it which is great in the right build but not great whoops that's the wrong one it's the top one on this one right wallpaper I mean, obviously, wallpaper it however you like. I pretty much used this wood and this new wallpaper. to you how you do it I can't remember how I did the back it was something like that <laughs> I change it so often oh I missed the front door again I can't remember if I made that white or wood seems to me that it would look better with the wood but I might be wrong for the inside I pretty much oops missed a wall used white everywhere apart from one wall which is this wall at the end I used this green wallpaper I have no idea where I get got this from 
think it was possibly a school board reward. So, whatever you want. Finishing touches, I put stairs here and here and here for the workshop and I just put a hedge there so there you have it um, I've actually built this on Emily who is my I say main character she is my highest level character she was my first character she's level 659 and until I built this house I had not played her for six months I tend to find it's more fun and easier to build on my lower level characters because there's more to do I have done everything on this character so I might get her out again the biggest problem I have with building on this character is that I have some builds that I really like that I don't want to scrap but I had I had one slot free so I have been building, running out of camp slots. So, but there we go. So I think this one is going to be a keeper. You may say, see it if I'm on a public server. But as I said, I don't play this character a lot. Um, maybe I'll play her a little bit more. I'll try. <laughs> so... I hope you like the build. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, any questions, please post them down below. That is all from me today. Thank you for watching.